day. Kindly follow me on my Facebook page and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you. In this video for Grade 9 Mathematics, pag-uusapan natin ang tungkol sa special parallelograms. At kabilang na dito ang theorems on the different kinds of parallelograms. So, ano nga ba yung mga theorems on the different kinds of parallelogram? First, if one angle of a parallelogram is a right angle, then the parallelogram is a rectangle. Second, parallelogram with diagonals or congruent is a rectangle. Third, parallelogram with one pair of consecutive sides or congruent is a rhombus. Fourth, parallelogram with diagonals or perpendicular is a rhombus. Fifth, Parallelogram with diagonals bisecting opposite angles is a rhombus. And the last, parallelogram with diagonals is perpendicular and has four right angles and four congruent sides is a square. So, pag-usapan natin one by one ang given theorems. Okay, first theorem, if one angle of a parallelogram is a right angle, then the parallelogram is a rectangle. So, sabi dyan, kung ang isang angle daw ay nag-form ng isang right angle, therefore, ang shape na yun o ang parallelogram na yun ay isang rectangle. And then, uh, pangalanan natin ang rectangle na ito as rectangle fate or F-A-T-E. Second theorem, parallelogram with diagonals or congruent is a rectangle. So, kapag daw ang dalawang diagonals ay congruent o magkatulad ng haba o ng sukat, therefore, ang parallelogram na yun ay isang rectangle. So, let us have this rectangle, and then meron tayong isang diagonal dito, and then kasukat din siya ng diagonal na ito. So, since magkatulad ng sukat ng dalawang diagonals, therefore, that is a rectangle, and let us name this rectangle as rectangle lock or rectangle L-U-C-K. Third theorem, parallelogram with one pair of consecutive sides or congruent is a rhombus. So, kung ang isang pares daw ng magkasunod na side ay magkatulad ng sukat, therefore, ang paralelogram na yon ay isang rhombus. So, for example, meron tayong given rhombus. At meron siyang pangalan na rhombus life or rhombus life. So, meron tayong isang side dito na ang kapares niya ay ang kasunod niyang side, which is yung side IE. So, since magkatulad sila ng sukat, therefore, that is a rhombus. For theorem, parallelogram with diagonals or per perpendicular is a rhombus. So again, let us have this given rhombus. And then, um, maglagay tayo ng pangalan ng rhombus, which is the rhombus hope or the rhombus H-O-P-E. So meron tayong diagonal na ito na pinagkonekta ang angle O at angle E. At isa pang diagonal na pinagkonekta or pinagdugtong ang angle H at angle P. So, kung mapapansin nyo, nag-form ng right angle, itong dalawang diagonals na ito, therefore, that is a rhombus. Fifth theorem, parallelogram with diagonals bisecting opposite angles is a rhombus. So, let us have this given rhombus. So, sabi dyan, diagonals bisecting opposite angles. So, for example, ang pangalan ng rhombus na ito ay rhombus love or rhombus love. And then, meron tayong given angle O, angle V, angle L, ay katulad naman ng sukat ng angle E. And then, ang diagonal na angle LE, ah sorry, side LE, at diagonal na VO ay binaisek ang opposite angles. So therefore, this is a rhombus. Last theorem, parallelogram with diagonals is perpendicular and has four right angles and four congruent sides is a square. Okay, so kailangan nating mapatunayan ang theorem na yan. So, let us have this given square. And then, pangalanan natin ang square na ito at, as square pray or P-R-A-Y. Okay, so dun muna tayo sa dalawang diagonals. So, sabi ang dalawang diagonals daw ay perpendicular. So kapag sinabing perpendicular, nag-form ng right angle or exactly 90 degrees. And then, meron tayong four uh, congruent or four right angles. So nag-form din ng paletter L ito, yung angle P, angle R, angle Y, at angle A. So ibig sabihin, ang sukat nila ay 90 degrees. 
And then, meron din siyang four congruent sides na kung saan ang sukat ng side PR ay kasukat ng RY, YA, at AP. So, kung magkakatulad sila ng haba, therefore, that is a square. So, let us now have the examples. Given arc is parallelogram, segment RP by sixth angle KRA and angle KPA. We have to prove that arc is a rhombus. So, we have this uh, statements and reason. First statement, segment RP by sixth angle KRA and angle KPA. And then, ang reason natin, that is a given. And then, another, gamitin naman natin yung dalawang angles dito sa ating rhombus. We have the angle 1, 2, 3, and 4. So, for the statement, angle 1 plus angle 2 is congruent to angle 3 plus angle 4. So, paano naging ganyan yung ating statement? Dahil kapag pinagsama natin ang sukat ng angle 1 at angle 2, ang total niya ay yung angle P. And then, kapag pinagsama naman natin yung sukat ng angle 3 at angle 4, ang total niya ay yung angle R. So, meron tayong dalawang angle, which, uh, which are the angle R and angle P. And then, ang reason natin, opposite angles are congruent. Next statement, angle, ah, sorry, segment RP is congruent to segment RP, so which is yung ating diagonal or yung red line natin. So therefore, ang reason is reflexive property. Kasi kapag sinabing reflexive property, kung ano yung value na nasa left ng congruent symbol, ganun din yung nasa right. Next, triangle PRK is congruent to triangle PRA. And then, yung reason natin is the ASA or ASA congruence postulate. And then the last, we have the segment KR is congruent to segment RA. So, magkasunod sila or consecutive side. And then, pwede ring segment AP is congruent to segment PK. Or pwede namang pabaliktad, KP congruent sa PA. At AP, uh, AR ay congruent naman sa RK. So, kanina, iyon ay kabilang po sa theorem. So, kapag meron tayong isang pares, katulad nito, yung KR, at RA, so isang pares ng magkasunod na side, so automatic that is uh, congruent, so that is the definition of a rhombus. Second example, answer the following using the figure at the right. So number one, if quad or QUAD is a rectangle, so meron tayong uh, given rectangle at ang point of intersection ng dalawang diagonals ay yung point E. Okay, so we have to find the, me uh, the measure of the segment ED na kung saan ang measure daw ng UE ay 21 cm. Ano naman ang measure ng ED? So that is also 21 cm. Next, segment QU is 13.5 cm. Ano naman daw ang sukat ng segment DA? That is also 13.5 cm. Next, measure of angle Q, U, A is equal to, so since nag-form siya ng letter L or right angle, therefore, ang sukat ng measure ng angle Q, U, A is 90 degrees. Next, measure, if measure of angle D, Q, A is 38 degrees, ano naman daw ang sukat ng U, Q, A? So, kailangan nating malaman ang sukat ng U, Q, A. So, kung mapapansin nyo, ang gitna nila o ang vertex ng dalawang angle ay Q. So, kung ang side daw na ito ng Q ay 38, ano daw ang sukat nito? So, para malaman natin yung sukat, so since ang total na Q or angle Q ay nag-form ng 90 degrees or letter L, so kailangan ang total ng dalawang ito ay 90. So, kung ito daw ay 38, ano ang sukat nito? So, that is 90 minus 38. The answer is 52 degrees. And then the last, if the measure of angle Q, E, U is equal to 46 degrees, ano naman daw ang measure ng D, E, A? So, itong dalawang triangle ang focus ng panghuling question. So, kung ito daw ay 46, ano naman ang sukat nito? So, kung mapapansin nyo, pareho silang vertical triangles or vertical angles. So, kung ang sukat nito ay 46, ang sukat naman nito ay also 46 degrees. Number 2, if quad is a square, so, ngayon, uh, square naman yung ating focus. So, kung mapapansin nyo, meron tayo ulit dalawang diagonals na ang point of intersection ay yung point E. Okay. 
So, let us find the measure of segment BU na kung saan ang sukat daw ng segment QA or diagonal QA is 17.5 meters. So, ang di dalawang diagonals po ng isang square ay magkatulad ng sukat. Therefore, the measure of segment BU is also 17.5 meters. Next, if BA is equal to 37 meters, what is the, seg uh, the measure of segment QU? So, that is also 37 meters because sa square, opposite sides po ay congruent. Ganon din ang opposite angles ay congruent din. Next, what is the measure of angle Q? U, A. So, ang angle Q, U, A ay may vertex na U. At ang U na ito ay nag-form ng letter L or right angle. Therefore, the measure of this given angle is 90 degrees. Next, what is the measure of angle Q, E, D? So, yung vertex natin ay yung E. At ang dalawang diagonal po ng isang square ay nagpo-form palagi ng right angle or perpendicular sa isa't isa. Therefore, ang sukat ng angle E or angle QED ay 90 degrees. Last, what is the measure of angle UDA? Ang angle UDA ay may vertex na D. Pero hindi natin uh, kailangang hanapin ang sukat ng buong angle D dahil ang pinag-uusapan lang natin ay ang triangle na ito. So kung perpendicular ang dalawang diagonals, Sa isa't isa, therefore, mahati ang angle D sa dalawa or sa kalahati. So, kung ito, ang buong angle D ay 90 degrees, hahatiin sa dalawa. Therefore, the measure of angle UDA is equal to 45 degrees. Last example, RHOM is a rhombus. RH is equal to 6Y plus 4 and HO is equal to 5Y plus 8. Let us find the values of Y, RH, and HO. So, if uh, the measure down ng segment RH ay 6Y plus 4 at ang HO ay 5Y plus 8, so ang hinahanap natin ay ang tatlong ito. So, para mahanap natin ang sukat ng RH at HO, kailangan muna natin manaman kung ano yung value ng Y para magkaroon tayo ng exact value ng RH at ng HO. So, uh, sa ating rule po ng, or sa ating theorem, nakalagay po dyan, parallelogram with one pair of consecutive sides or congruent is a rhombus. So is, sa isang rhombus, magkatulad po ang sukat or congruent ang sukat ng dalawang sides na magkasunod. So since magkasunod, ang RH at HO therefore equal ang kanilang sukat or RH is congruent to HO. And then let us just substitute. 6y plus 4 is equal to 5y plus 8. And then combine like terms. So itatransform, uh, itatranspose natin ang positive 5y sa left side kaya magiging negative 5y. At ang 4 ay magiging negative dahil simula sa left pupunta siya sa kanan ng equal side. And then let us just simplify. The value of y is 4. And then yung 4 which is the value of y na nakuha natin, isa substitute na natin sa 6y plus 4 para makuha natin yung sukat ng segment RH. Okay, so yung 6y plus 4 ay magiging 6 times 4 plus 4. 6 times 4 is 24. So 24 plus 4 is 28. At para naman sa segment HO, uh, palitan natin yung y ng 5y plus 8 ng ating nakuhang value ng y which is 4. So 5 times 4 plus 8. 5 times 4 is 20, plus 8 is also 28. So, kung mapapansin nyo kung anong sukat ng segment RH, ganun din ang sukat ng kasunod niya na side, which is the segment HO. Let us now summarize what we have learned about this lesson. Uh, in this video, we talked about the theorems on the different kinds of parallelogram. First theorem if one angle of a parallelog parallelogram is a right angle, then the parallelogram is a rectangle. Second, parallelogram with diagonals or congruent is a rectangle. Third, parallelogram with one pair of consecutive sides or congruent is a rhombus. Fourth, parallelogram with diagonals or perpendicular is a rhombus. Fifth, parallelogram with diagonals bisecting opposite angles is a rhombus. And the last, parallelogram with diagonals is perpendicular and has four right angles and four congruent sides is a square.
Thank you for watching. Sana ay nakatulong ang video na ito sa inyong lesson. If you have questions or suggestions, feel free to comment below. Enjoy learning mathematics. God bless us all!